over backwards just to let you in. I told you that one day ain't never enough. You tell me I hate you, I still call you up. We don't got trust, we can never have love. I was putting in the hours, 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 hours I was. But you were calling me a liar, 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 liar. I've been putting in the hours, 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 hours I was. And it's coming down and down. I'm sick of fighting the things that you said I don't want to burn all our bridges ahead I'm tired of going to bed when you left me on red Just to turn up the noise in my head I told you that one day ain't never enough You tell me I hate you, I still call you up If we don't got trust, we can never have love I was putting in the hours, 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 hours I was you were calling me a liar, 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 liar. I've been putting in the hours, 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 hours. And it's coming down and now, and now, and now, and now, and never. I was putting in the
Thanks for tuning in to Call the Wild. Monster, uh, Monster Dog is taking over all aspects of her label, including merch. And you can take a first look at the Monster Dog Shop now and look for the new apparel, accessories, snacks, and oh yeah, leashes too. Let's get right back into it. Next up was a track that was released two years ago today, actually, and totaling 98 million YouTube views. This is Crab Rave. Let's get the hype train going right here on Call the Wild.
another tune we haven't played in a while featuring Puppet and Pierce Fulton with Boy and the Beast off Puppet's soft spoken EP. Now next up, we have some brand new music to share and it's landing our uncaged spotlight of the week. This is Nitro Fun with Hidden Level. Let them know that you're enjoying the track on socials by searching Nitro Fun. All right, let's hear it. Call the wild monster dog. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to another fantastic night of Kalich Dota! Woo! How you doing, Carlo? Ricky, I'm doing very well. I'm happy to be here with you tonight because we have a fantastic special uh we have a little a little something spicy going on tonight, Ricky. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Spice is always a good for the heart, I'm sure. So S spice is nice, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and good for the heart. Yeah. Uh what's going on tonight with the game, Ricky? So we've got our uh 2020 Dota All-Star Exhibition match. Woo! So Team Carlo versus Team Ricky once again. We had a 1-1 last week. I don't know what's yep, going to happen this rosters. week. But we got another best of two. Yep. We yeah, best talk of about two the, tonight to clarify. We should talk about the teams though, right? I think a lot of people are yeah, asking. Yeah, these are they're completely new rosters. Um, Ricky and I drafted teams before the game. Uh, and as the evil genius mastermind that you all know me for, I managed to bait Ricky into taking first pick last week, uh, which he misplayed with, um, True. True. allowing me to immediately reply with a Go Colts and Dota Discord moderator white uh, double pick, uh, the Grimstroke equivalent of the CSL staff. Mm -hmm. uh, this week, um, following last week, obviously, I took first pick. And once again, managed to snag Go Colts for Team Carlo. Uh, securing the greatest player in CSL history, thank you. Yeah. And ensuring Team Carlo's victory tonight. Yeah. I uh, mean, Ricky, how did your draft go? Yeah, I'll be honest, I was pretty happy with my draft. I got some of the boys that I wanted to get. I'm a little upset. You did get some good boys. Yeah, I'm a little upset. You know, Go Colts, not on my team. But uh, I think mm -hmm. it's, I think it's honestly for the best. From the people on <laughs> your team your Ricky. players on your yeah. team seem to think it's for the best. I that think I everyone think on my team thinks it's for the best. So we'll see how it goes. How mistaken but, they uh, are! Oh yeah, let me let me tell you who I got here. Rounding out this draft, we've got the one, the only, the all star off laner himself, Sammy from Woo. UIC. My first pick, yes, followed sir. up by the all star mid laner from one and only Water, Water, Water. Lou, Lou, Lou. <laughs> like, I was waiting for Shaggy to say it. <laughs> Shaggy, baby. We got Shaggy. So we start out with Sammy and Shaggy. I don't know. How did you got, get him? I tried to pull some moves, but yeah, I was You tried to literally Shaggy. re pick Shaggy after me. I don't know how that works. Ricky, I don't think you're allowed to do Ricky, that. I don't know. Go Colts is, was running the draft. I don't know what rules he plays with, but <laughs> for whatever reason, if Ricky picked Shaggy, I can't pick Shaggy. So I'm not sure oh, man. what's going on uh biased uh drafting and admins um but i think team carlo can prevail 
Uh, in addition to Go Colts, I have uh, Eradicate, Ricky. Yeah. Uh, I know you're a little sore that I stole him from you. And everyone wants good old Carter. Yes. Yeah, speaking of stealing players, Uran is on my team. What's yeah, up with that? Yeah, how did that happen? I'm pretty sure <laughs> I picked Uran, but... So there are some, some ways complications. Yeah. Some uh, complications. Just not as intended. So it's fine. I'll let that happen. Yep. Um, on my team, though, rounding out my draft, I've got the ASU madman himself, Connor Morph. We got Jolie <laughs> from UNC, and we have Promo rounding out the draft, the last player uh, to, uh, I, I believe, get into the show match um, today. So very, very excited to have him a part of it. Of course. Um, speaking of Team Carlo, we're also representing Alabama's uh, wait, no, did we swap them out? Because we changed it. I do have Bunborn. Yeah, you still got Alabama. Bunborn. You still got him. I still got Bunborn. And then I, I'm not sure what there was some like. So as you know, Go Colts is much like the Illuminati of the CSL. And although Ricky and I were under the impression we were picking teams, Go Colt had his final say. Um, he also got to do my first pick for some reason. Yeah. Um, is that how you end up with Go Colts every time? Yeah, I don't get to do first pick. He always, oh, okay, he always okay. remotes this, it. Everything is coming part together. Part of the contract. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, rounding out, and then I ended up snagging Mio, didn't I? Yeah, you got or Mio get- from Toronto. Okay. The Madman ranked yes. 200 or whatever himself. Highest rank in the match uh, behind Go Colts, which we have listed as rank one. I think they moved it to negative one, actually. If you re- hey, wouldn't if that you be better, at- though? Is that Wouldn't that be a compliment? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. He's gone past rank zero. Yeah, he's he just continues. He's, <laughs> he breaking, he's revolutionizing it. Yeah, who knows, man? It's crazy. Um, yeah, it's, this will be a stacked game. There's a lot of really good players, a lot, a lot of fun to be had for sure. And I think that's ultimately, at the end of the day, what we're both looking for, what all the players are looking for. Speaking and, uh, of, Ricky, we need to oh. decide this now. Techie is fun. Confirm or deny. Careful I, I would say team. for your it's team, watching. it could be pretty fun because I know what do you, you mean guys. For my team? I know you have you a techies have player on your team. I'm not going to say who it is, but someone on your team does like to play techies. Go Colts, we know. Okay, Ricky, <laughs> stop. <laughs> we know there is a techies player in this lobby, <laughs> so we'll see. We, I, I will say, yeah, I think techies could be fun. We'll see how it goes. Techies is okay. uh, definitely on the board for sure. Eight bands, though, to start the game, make it unlikely the hero is going to come through. But it's CSL. There's a lot of cheese. There's a lot of fun. So we'll see what happens. Meepo? Question mark. I don't know if we have a Meepo player. Okay. Uh, Broodmother, Huskar. Is Huskar even cheese anymore? I feel like that hero just gets owned. <laughs> Okay, go Colts, Alchemist, four protect one, Team Carlo takes it, 2-0. Oh my gosh, games. just roll the UIC strat, that's your prediction? A 90 minute games of go Colts hitting creeps. Yeah, I'm about it. I'm, uh, I'm excited, man. It's going to be a really fun game. I think, uh, I, I just want to see what the teams come up with, right? At the end of the yeah. day, I, I think that's something that's always super interesting to see how they, how they play with players Who's that they draft? don't play with. Yeah. I go, hope Go Colts drafts for Team Carlo. I don't. I don't know who's drafting, but we might as well start watching the draft, right? Wouldn't yeah. you say that's probably a good idea? Yeah, let's get into the game and see what's going on. All right, dude. The banners once again flawless. Of course, and both banners look exactly as intended. Yeah, great job by yeah, both well, teams here. I, I think we we went out this last week how the Ricky banner you only see half of him because he you know you, you don't normally don't see, see very much of him yeah, anyway. He's mostly invis. So that was that was one hundred percent intended for those w- tuning in just now for the first time ever. Exactly, and then team. half of the banner is actually kind of an inside joke between members of Team Carlo. We had to take half of every budget, including player salaries, and combine it Dying just to afford team. to get Go Colts to endorse our team. Uh, that makes sense. That man, he's an expensive yes. boy. For those who do not know, Go Colts is the coach of UIC, uh, two years Dying running. Team. Um, I'm not sure Dying if he's team. played Dota before. Uh, we're about to find out. I don't know if he has. <laughs> good question. Oh. Who's drafting for our team? Shaggy's drafting, and you okay. have Euron drafting. Okay. Yes, sir. Euron came from your team and is now drafting from my yeah, team. I'm going to say this is some insider trading knowledge mm. here. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. this something and, is and I'm fishy pretty here. sure. I'm pretty sure he's a finance major, so he should know. He should know better. He should. He's, he there is there is honestly insider training. 
trading rather. Um, Ricky, I don't know if I can if I trust you anymore after this. I don't know what's suspicious. Oh, Sammy for Night Stalker banned. Unbelievable. These people. I think it's completely believable, Ricky. To be honest <laughs> Wait, with do you. Do you see the bans from your team right now? Is this not the most targeted ban I have ever seen? Sammy's all <laughs> I four mean, of his heroes are just removed from the game. What is this? I never get to see Sammy Boy Mars anyways, Ricky. So it's like, whatever. It's just another day in the life. Dude, Sammy is fuming in chat right now. I, I guarantee you he's just on his team like, guys, I, what do I even play? What do I do? <laughs> Every you know, offlaner is removed. Ooh, Witch Doctor first pick, Ricky. That's what we're seeing. And that's what I'm... There it is. There okay, it come is. on. <laughs> and Team Scumbag. Zoo, I mean, Team so Ricky. Better. You know, you said it, man. I'm excited. I'm pretty sure Connor Morph is a techie spammer. I'm no, dude. Almost don't positive even. he's like a diamond tier techies. So we'll find out. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. My gosh. Yeah, he, he is like a, a big techies player from what I can Eight remember. Angry at the uh, best of two rather than best of three. The players have decided to keep us here. <laughs> They're like, oh, with you, you can't leave if we if, <laughs> as long as we're here, you know. They have to leave after two games, but one will never end. True. Team How do you Carlo respond to that? Well, I guess we're going to find out. On the Model of the light. light. I think the the response pick would be a hero like Terrorblade or not Terrorblade, um, Naga Siren. Terrorblade is not good against techies. Yeah, having something expendable to pop the mines with. Yeah, like you need something to do it. Rubik, that's a great pick. Both those heroes um, do suffer a little bit in the... I mean, Keeper and Witch Doctor are both really strong in lane, but Rubik um, trades really well against both of them, so I really like that from the support pick. And Zeus could be uh, mid or support here. You don't really know exactly. Uh, never mind. It's definitely four techies, so that's probably mid Zeus or offlane Zeus. Yeah. Five seconds what remaining. What do you think's going on with the Witch Doctor Keeper of the Light? I think Coddle is just incredibly strong. Keeper of the Light is yeah. just like a, a first tier team pick team for pick. sure. Very safe. Oh, Team Carlo making me proud. Dang, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. I don't quite uh, understand where my team's going with this draft. We've got you know a lot of very squishy magic damage heroes. I feel like we need some form of an initiator or frontline here. I think you should get more squishy uh, heroes. Maybe ones that don't even do damage, just squishy heroes. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Five seconds I think that could be good. Heroes that heroes that really uh, suffer when a hero's on top of them, like if they were to get pulled across the river or something. Ooh. That's an interesting pick. You know what? We're doubling down on the invis. I'm ready for them to triple down on the invis here and pick Rikamaru. I hope my slot. team drafts some invis heroes because that's a real weakness. In my draft is the you you really have a monopoly right now. Yeah, I I do, and Slardar's banned. So suck it. All according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, this is interesting for sure. I'm not sure which of these heroes Sammy is playing. He could be the three position bounty hunter. Yeah, and it's a is. thing. You can run Bounty as a two um, as well in the mid lane in any melee matchup. He typically excels. It could even be a safe lane Bounty Hunter. You don't know. That's the thing about Team Ricky. They're a diverse, adaptable group of players. You never are ready for their strategies from the first pick to the last. And there's the Naga Siren. So this is hey, kind of what I expected. Snipers. Yeah, that's... Yeah, shout out to uh, Gold Co Colts watching <laughs> What should we pick next, Ricky? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, Naga Siren's like a pretty, pretty good pick. Yeah. Um, they ban the Death Prophet in the mid lane. I think that's a, that's a really good idea because they will suffer a lot if Team Carlo is able to just take over the map at this twenty minute mark. They just, they don't really have a way to fight into Team Carlo right now. No, it seems you really need something to tie your lineup together here. Yeah. So we're gonna need. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Need, <sighs> the thing is, I don't know where these heroes are going. That's the biggest yeah, thing. I know Connor Morph is the techies in the four position. They banned Doom as the last hero. Dude, they are just not giving Sammy any heroes to play. Too bad. Sammy is playing the techies. Can we just can we just look at Team Carlo and notice that Euron is drafting, and that is why five offlane heroes are banned, because he hates Sammy so much. He wants to <laughs> grief him that hard. 
Ooh, def or a disruptor. Does That's a pretty disruptor good pick. I, I actually really love Disruptor versus Rubik because all of Disruptor spells require a combination of a second Disruptor spell, right? Like you want a glimpse into Kinetic Field, you want a Kinetic Field into Static Storm. Um, your your Thunderstrike ability gives you vision to set up the glimpse. Like all the spells combo together. And the fact that Rubik can only steal one at a time actually makes Disruptor spells like really hard to use. It's like you, Static Storm feels terrible when you don't have like a lockdown to pair it with. Yeah. That is true. But you have Will O Wisp, right? You have you have you have you have oh my god, you actually have so many things that combo in a disruptor. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like this Keeper of the Light alt is it's just gonna there's so much pressure that comes out from my team just hitting buttons. There's the classic like, the like um, very well. song into Static Storm. Yeah. There it is, my team does it! No, our yes. one week. <laughs> It is a Sammy Bounty Hunter, and boy, are we Ooh. in it. We get the Harder Rick Amaru. Is playing Disruptor. Oh my gosh. It is going to be Disruptor mid. Okay. This That's is... amazing. Yeah, this is something. I'm happy about that. How are you feeling about uh, Sammy getting a Bounty Hunter and it... a Techie is representing uh, Team Ricky? I'll be honest, Bounty Hunter is actually not a terrible matchup into the Naga Siren, which might have been why they picked it. It's a hero that has incredibly high armor. Um... On top of it, it's uh, tra like just stealing Naga Siren's gold early on so that she can't scale is really frustrating for that hero because she has to get like double Wraith Ban or double Wraith Ban treads into a Yasha like pretty early to start and take over the map. So I see the the potential five head um, chess like 4D chess happening there on uh, I'm not from my team, but we'll see. Yeah, the the I, I, your comment on the invisibility. I want to see, like, my Team Carlo is is going to be spending a lot of money on Sentry Wards this game. Yeah, it is going to be no joke. So, they are going to go ahead and... The thing is that's really interesting here is... I think they're going to go ahead and run the techies in the safe lane. Because you don't want to put it in the Naga Siren lane. So, I, I really do like the, that kind of adaptation, right? Putting it in Naga Siren's lane is, like, guaranteed to be... You just lose with it. Yeah. So they are going to go ahead and put techies in the safe lane, take uh, prevent the Dire from being able to take over that, that side of the map, that jungle area. And it is going to be Euron playing the Naga Siren. Mm -hmm. Getting protected, looking to farm it up. Yeah. He's going to be dealing with Sammy, as you pointed out. Um, I'd yeah. like to see Sammy get solo experience. When we saw um, a Bounty Hunter get a lot of XP early on and get three points Janata, it felt very strong to me. To battle. Honor more. Bottom lane, dueling it out. With, I mean, Pudge is a zero armor hero. He does have that ring of protection to help him out a little bit. But I will say, Connor Morph's money is a little bit wasted on this Orb of Venom. It was massively nerfed in the most recent patch. Oh, it's damaged. Yeah, the damage slow. and everything was nerfed. Yep. All right, well, at the bounties, it looks like Team Ricky. Are we going two for two? Uh, oh, you're at top. Lift. No. Sammy gets Great it. Job. Promo really well played. Bottom lane though. No first bloods happening. No, go Colts. Doesn't actually connect on Jolie. Is it Jolie? Jolie. Wait, Jolie. why do I only see three runes picked up? Oh my gosh, Euron denied the other rune with an illusion. Euron gets it. That's what had to that's happen. Why, that's yeah. why I picked him for my team, Ricky. What a what a gamer. <laughs> Now, the classic Disruptor Zeus mid matchup, how do you feel about that? This is something that, you know, goes all the way back to the creation time of Dota 2. Yes. Obviously. Of course, yeah. I don't know, I can't double remember a lightning. Time when this wasn't played. A, d a double lightning hero mid is just, you see it all the time these days in Dota. The, the lane I'm actually most interested in is I just love watching Bounty Hunter players. I love just like the whole, like, kind of like metagame of Janata. Yeah, it, big shout out to Promo going headdress here as well because Sammy just goes this double ring of regen and like I said, Bounty Hunter being an incredibly high armor hero makes it so he has 9.8 health per second without a tango and 7 armor. So you can't yeah. harass this boy out of the lane. It's just not going to happen. He's going to effectively trade against a Naga Siren the entire time getting these Janata procs. Yeah, and it's just going to get worse as Janata levels up, uh, lowering the cooldown and increasing the gold stolen. Yeah, and Rick Amaro in the bottom lane, I think, is going to have a pretty easy game as well. Pudge 
normally really good at bullying out heroes that uh, don't sustain lane, but Rikamaru does exactly that, right? He has five base regen. That's how this hero works. Vocal's taking yeah, a lot of damage. Actually, from the going strikes. very deep. Yeah. Gokul's gonna be safe though, and that's what out. I expect from a player of his caliber. Yeah, that was a really aggressive play, but honestly worth it because they did have the level advantage. Mm -hmm. If they can get a good lane pull here and maybe reset the equilibrium would work out, but Ooh. Bad. Uh, Eradicate popped uh, Shaggy's salve mid lane. Nice, and he nice. just had one of his own delivered. Oh the the amount of damage Thunderstrike does is insane, but I think yep. Zeus is more mana efficient with his damage, so I think eventually this is going to start tilting in Zeus's favor. Because he just has an easier yeah. time CSing, and he just is going this lightning bolt into static field damage. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, unless something happens, I imagine that uh, that's exactly how the lane will play out. Um, bottom lane, Gokult's dropping low once again, and that's actually going to be first blood with a celebratory uh, Connor Morph blast off, but uh, Ricky manages to take that. A fitting way to start the game. You know, am I... Am I correct in the fact that Gokult's not only Hold on top first... side, a Maldic comes out on Rubank. Rubik's he's dropping dead. really low. Yeah, he's gonna die. Trying yeah. to help get a kill maybe before it... Sammy, he wants to avenge his fallen comrade, but I don't think he'll he's go under him. tower. He won't need to with the Shuriken. Yeah, that, that tech into Orb of Venom is really useful. So it's again, so, like I said, he, the, the name of this lane is, is Sustain, and he really just needs to beat Euron slowly but steadily right making his game worse what what makes this orb of venom purchase good whereas the techies orb of venom purchase uh lackluster what's the difference so coming to lane and being stronger at the very first few levels is much more important than having like an orb of venom because you're not going to secure a kill with it anymore i think that was like, yeah. the biggest change is they reduced the damage it does they reduced the time that you're slowed by but they increase the mm -hmm. slow slightly so it, it's just overall a, a worse ability, or worse ability, a worse item um, to start the game with. But when you yeah, get- Yeah, it's more about the slow, less about the damage. Yeah, exactly. So now it's like, okay, well he's level four, has an Orb of Venom now, he's actually dangerous because he can stay on top of you dealing damage. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Thank you for explaining that, Ricky. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying earlier? Are you right or- what? Do you recall? Never mind. About what? Uh, it was before we got uh, interrupted by Rubik, uh, top lane dying to Maldict. Oh, yeah, I was saying, am I right in, in say, oh, go Colts, before we, yeah. oh. Uh, oh, Connor Wharf just suicided onto a pudge, value, free <laughs> strength right there, okay, not bad. Go, go Colts um, will collect that. Um, and mid lane, Zeus drops low, has a yeah. salve though, so he's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. um, last time trying to explain this, I believe in last week's CSL showdown. Yeah. Was Golkolt not the first person Ooh, hold to on, die? Lane. Eradicate. He eats another lightning bolt. Force back. I was yeah. ready for Eradicate to go in, but without. Uh, yeah, he does. He wasn't ready. Everything on cooldown. My gosh. Getting so close. Um, people dying everywhere. What happened with Golkolt? He fed first blood. I was like, didn't Golkolt. Wasn't Golkolt the first person to die in last week's show match? Uh, I can imagine he was involved in first blood in some way or another. Oh, Sneaking up kills, Pudge. bottom lane. Pudge eats a suicide. Go cold, drop off a suicide. Oh, go Revealed and Ricky. There's a backstab. Oh, baby. That's four to two. My namesake hero is looking real good right now. There's a reason it was banned all last week. <laughs> Team Ricky showing up big today. And check that out. Techies manages to secure a bounty rune. Is that the only one picked up? Uh, no, both top are picked oh, no. up by promo. So, so far Once three for Team Ricky. Oh, here we go, mid lane. Big hook, big hook, big hook from downtown. Oh, it connects. Right into it. Nice. Dude, this is Mio, dude. This is Mio Dodo. That's what he does. And check that out. Ring of Tarask. That's a, that's a build. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's he working on here? We got a Ring of Health and Ring of Tarask. Ricky, how do you feel about this? On Pudge? On, on Pudge. I think That's it's fine. 18. Yeah, it, it's fine. They removed his regen talent, his regen ability. So realistically, you actually have to invest a lot of money into sustain. Now as a Pudge, Ring of Tarask, Ring of Health, definitely fill that void. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he doesn't even really need boots because he, uh, he just stands in the lane and regens Bottom, back top up. Top lane, rather. Promo and Bunborn going at it. 
Yeah, the Maldict out on Rubik. It's not going to be enough damage, likely. Sammy However, you have Witch Doctor Fallen. Sammy nuked that man. That phase boots, it's... early phase boots, is a lot of damage. It's it's very cool to see Pudge played as a core in this fashion. Hold on, we might have some action with Techies bottom lane. Pudge going in, Techies with his blast off available. Uh, Mio knows here. this. He's going to want to use the kill for a last hit. Static Storm from Eradicate catches out a Ricky. A wasted hook, unfortunately, but still a kill on Ricky, and Techies is safe. That's a good rotation. That was with an Arcane Rune as well. So Static Storm coming off cooldown here yeah. in only 60 seconds as opposed to 90. Mm -hmm. And Static Storm is one of those spells you're going to get a kill every time you cast it in the early game, so it's great to exactly. get a reduced cooldown on it. And right now, no one. there's no heroes that realistically can survive it. No save mechanics on the side mm -hmm. of Team Ricky. Eradicate and Zeus throwing lightning, playing with thunder, doing damage to each other mid lane. Four points in Thunderbolt is an insane amount of damage. Yes, it is. Uh, Eradicate is not going to win these engagements. Speaking of all, Zeus does have his ult back up. If he were able to get another Thunderbolt, he would kill um, Disruptor with his ultimate. He's going to salve up right now just to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. Little bit of action going on bottom. Mio keeps playing up because of his high regen build, but without boots, Ricky might be able to get away. At 19 uh, health per second because of the headdress. Plus those two, yeah. two regen items. That is no joke. Hey, if raided brooch, that's a pretty good item. Good on uh, everybody. Bounty Hunter is level 6 top with track and has forced you on to the jungle. Mid lane, yeah. though. There it, is. there it that's is. That's the static roll. storm. Double damage. Yeah. <laughs> And Disruptor continuing to farm in the meantime. Bottom side, we have some action. Pudge Alt coming out. We have a locked down and beaten down Techies. Next on the menu is Ricky. He's going to be safe, though. Top side, another kill. Promo picks That's up a, a kill, kill on Witch Doctor. That's going to be a track kill, up. yeah. 6-6. Six, six. Oh, it wasn't a track kill. No track was used. I guess Sammy was not in range. But Sammy, top net worth. Name a better duo. <laughs> Pudge might try something fancy here. Unfortunately, Gokuls does miss. Mio is playing this really well. Ooh. Yeah, however, no hook for now. Have to be careful of the smoke cloud as well. Pudge, here we go. Catches the Ricky, putting some damage on him. Gokuls doesn't have it illuminate, but he does have the ability to destroy the ward. Tricks of the Trade comes out, but now both heroes bouncing over each other. Now Techies is the one in trouble. However, with Blast Off available, we might see it come out shortly. Here's the hook nice, and nice the Blast, stuff. both gonna miss. So, Mio is just unkillable for these two heroes. Zeus, is Zeus rotating down, however. They're gonna go right on Mio. Zeus's damage making the unkillable seem quite killable. However, it seems Team Ricky doesn't know who they want to go on. There we go. Figured out it's Pudge. Interrupt his TP and take him out with a celebratory deny from Techies. Yeah, Bunborn is having a rough time on this Witch Doctor because he has to just yeah. sit top to absorb experience because Euron's jungling. And Euron is yeah. recovering really well. Second net worth now passing the Rikamaru, but it is leaving this Witch Doctor with just an abysmal start to the game. Level 4 yeah. at 10 minutes, Sammy just free farming, cracking him up and showing his dog. Ooh, and his Janata is chunking. Oh my god. And he's got him here, 100%. Is Sammy gonna go under tower with another Janata? He could. There's the Witch Doctor all. The double kill! And one was a track kill too. Yeah. A lot of gold. Okay, looking great, Sammy. Sammy has a drum in his stash. We're going boots to travel on Eradicate. He wants to be mobile. He also speaking of mobile. He has a haste rune. Pudge picked up his boots. And Techies has started to take control bottom lane. We have a Rubik rotation down here as well. I don't think three heroes three surrounding Mio. Teleport coming in from Gokolts. And potentially a rotation from Eradicate. Team Ricky's gonna have sight of this uh, rotation. Team Ricky doesn't see it, because Eradicate goes all the way around. He's, stuck. He's gonna deny himself, and here it actually. is, the combo! Oh, wait, all no three! He's gonna that is more kinetic see it! One oh. more from Keeper of the Light, glimpse him back. Ooh, but Mio taken out on the top side from promo. Am I... <laughs> oh my gosh. In the they process, gotta hit their like, oh, buttons, Pudge is just gonna well. deny himself. No big deal. And I'm just like, that's right. That mechanic's removed, and Pudge is just gonna walk away with one HP. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I'm uh, I'm a fan of Pudge being able to deny himself too. Don't worry. Yeah, I think that was one of those things where like that could have stayed in the game. The Abaddon, however, that could have been removed. That didn't need to be in there. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I can see that. Mid lane, a glimpse boy. comes out because Sammy He's Pudge and TV. Witch Doctor are looking to fight. Now, Disruptor dropping low has put Zeus in a great position, but a reverse hook is not going to connect on Sammy, who then tracks Pudge up. Mid lane, go Colts. They're trying to run the mana out of go Pudge. Colts is just dead. We're going to back out. Go Colts with a bouncing shuriken. It's going to uh, lead to Sammy and Zeus picking up a track kill. Here's a bite. Here's a bite, but there's going to be a thunderbolt. No, there's no mana. And combined ultimate force gets a kill on the offlaner. Mio is looking for more with five seconds. Can he hit this hook? Promos made an appearance. Double damage rune. Great stun coming out on Witch Doctor. Two heroes too. isolated. Hit him with the Meldic. Zeus is definitely going to fall, except for there's a return. Great place to have that. Both heroes isolated. It's going to bounce back and forth. But a glimpse is going to actually be a waste. Zeus is going to die before that. And next up, a kill on Rubik. Pudge <laughs> runs down the line, killing everyone in his wake. Yeah, this Pudge is feeling so strong right now. This is one of those things where when you, if you're in a game as Pudge and, and you can just walk around in fights, build up these flesh heaps, go back to lane and farm, and you out like you, you have enough regen to just kind of not worry about being low in lane. Like this is this is like the best feeling as Pudge. You feel like such yeah. a strong hero. This is exactly what you want to do. This is the dream when you pick the hero. Yeah. And now he's just going right back to farming. Yeah, Mio is going to just be an absolute monster oh. this game. And he's found a Ricky. I love Ironwood Tree on Pudge. It's so good for like Sammy a tanky top item. Lane. <sighs> Trading oh. with Yuron's Naga Siren. This is exactly the timing I said. That treads double Wraith Band Yasha. Once you have that, it's very scary. Mm hmm. No one saw the Zeus rotating up to the top lane. Yuron able to purge. They know he's on that camp there. Yeah, yeah uh oh, oh song, there it is. And safety. Everyone rotating here. Kind Bottom side, there's only one this. hero defending. How are you feeling right now, Ricky? It's quite an even game. It's pretty darn close, yeah. 11 to 12, 1,000 gold lead, and most of that's just really on Sammy's bounty hunter. Yeah. He is going for continue, a desolator though. as his next item. Very fun. I like Shaggy to see that. Lane, maybe in trouble. Yeah, we have some action. Static Storm, however, connects on very few until Zeus is glimpsed back in and bitten. Now, the stolen Static Storm, as we discussed, not as effective because there's nothing to hold the players in it. Haste picked up by Eradicate and a Pudge. That was a close look. Attack. Tower is under attack. They will lose their top tier one tower for this, but it is really good shutting down Shaggy on this mid lane. Dyer's top yeah. Tower. And that's Sammy getting the kill. Sammy doing very well. Highest in net worth by a thousand gold. Go Colts bottom lane. Maybe yeah, like, oh, now there that. we go. The Keeper alt comes out again. The first time went well. The second time we trade a support for a support. Probably favoring Team Ricky, although offering some map control up to Team Carlo. Yeah, overall, I mean, it's it's really not bad. Neo now up to seven flesh heaps, has that Hood of Defiance. He just needs to focus on mana regen now at this point. He yeah. he wants to make sure he can keep just trying to secure kills with Hook and Dismember. Right. Uh, Countermorph top lane, are you a here? Okay, he is going to survive. <laughs> He's setting up his boy. Sa Sammy's coming over. Yeah. Oh, a net. Now let's see if we can figure out which one's which. Sammy knows which one it is and collects a kill after Yuran trades for a techies. That's a huge bait. That's really well played by Connor Morph. Yep. Gold change and XP change favoring Team Ricky. Zeus again mid lane. Just gets caught once more by the Static Storm. Yeah, taking a lot of damage, getting Glimpse right back in. Now there's a Ricky here. He shows he wants to go for the Witch Doctor, but I don't think he's going to be able to get a kill. However, with Eradicate out of mana, Ricky's in no trouble. Bottom He's getting close to defusal, but doesn't have it quite yet. Once he has it, he'll be a lot larger of a threat this game, and that's so that's kind of like a really big item timing for the Radiant, right? It's going to be this. Yeah. Um, oh, that sentry barely clips that ward up there. Okay. Uh, it's going to be the defusal timing on the Rikamaru, but also this Deso timing on the Bounty Hunter is no joke. He will be yeah. doing so much damage. Team Carlo seems to just be getting kind of defensive items. I think uh, you're, nothing they're like playing really entirely scary coming perfect. Out. I, I do. I yeah. think they're playing this really well. Oh, hold on. Sammy uh, is about to scout out. Uh, oh, no. Poor Witch Doctor going to get killed with track behind tower. 
Yeah, great Zeus ult there, revealing that rotation, the positions of the supports as well. Knowing that they can flame really though aggressive. showing. Unfortunately, no vision. Ocult is here with the dust. He will clip him. Yeah, but... he catches him, but I don't think we're going to see a kill unless there's a vision. There is not. Yeah, no vision for the glimpse. He was trying. He had the range, but no vision. Does Disruptor have a move speed talent? No, he's, that's just boots to travel. Wow. And a good looking mount. Well, he has Static Storm, so he's going to look to get a kill with that. Probably something more valuable than a Rubik, though. Radiant's bottom tower is under so Shaggy is at least staying on par for the most part Dyer's with the Disruptor's net worth. Um, despite yeah. Disruptor being 5-0 and and Sammy being 3-5. and or, hey, I'm sorry, think... and Shaggy being 3-5. and five. Do you think Naga takes the people's gift? Yeah, absolutely. Such yeah. a good item. Did they get one? They did get one, but uh, I don't think he took it. Yeah, he still got the PMS. He, he will take it. It is very good. Disruptor Essence Ring is so good. Ooh, he needs the man. Ooh, that's great. I think it's actually better on Pudge, to be honest, because I could, Pudge that, really Pudge needs the mana. mana. Yeah, Pudge needs the mana so bad. Like, 2.5 mana regen is insane on this hero. But the, um, what about the cost to cast it, is my concern. I mean, he doesn't ever need to cast it. He really just uses it as the mana regen. Oh, yeah, I guess you could do that, yeah. Pudge collects, or connects, and collects a Ricky under tower with True Sight, putting damage out. Tricks of the trade coming. We're going to see if we can get a kill here. The dust actually, oh, was used. Pudge does have vision. However, he doesn't have speed. On the other side of the map, we have Sammy getting a kill on Bunborn. And Carter getting a kill on Carter Morph. Yeah, a second track kill picked up for Sammy under tower. I don't think there's any way they're going to catch him once the dust ends, but right now they're looking okay. Eradicate taking a lot of damage. He has to stay away from this bounty hunter. Sammy's unstoppable. Dude, However, he's... kinetic field before he dies. I don't think Sammy needs to run away. He's going to collect another kill tracking in front of his whole team. Oh, that's what I, was, I literally said. This Deso timing on Bounty Hunter is going to be no joke at all. And he just got 3,000 gold for his team. He also just got purchase. kicked from UIC officially uh, by Go Colts uh, here during yeah, the match. We saw it. You know, it's been announced, guys. I He's wonder no if anyone's team. Picking, up, picking up any players. <laughs> Y'all looking for a really high skill offlaner, Sammy, now a free agent. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunate for him, but I wish him all the best. Yeah, it happens, man. It happens to everyone. Uh, the Keeper of the Light actually using the People's Gift. Hey, well, Sammy gets another is dead kill. I can move the camera. So, Witch Doctor, Witch Doctor. Less than a thousand life is not doing well against Sammy's uh, insanely high damage. Yeah, Witch Doctor. Sammy's crit right now is about 750. Um, from the Janata on these supports. Especially like the low armor ones, because it'll apply that Desolator proc first. So yeah. Heroes like Coddle, who have five armor, and Witch Doctor, who have three, it is yes. an insane amount of damage. Sammy now taking a shrine. Stolen hook. Promo's got it. And a win. Let's see if we can get a kill with it. Sammy is just hunting Neuron's Naga Siren. Yes, he is. Always figuring out which one it is. <laughs> he was canceling it for the shrine. What a play. I don't know why I said shrine. It's an outpost. Come on, noob. I got him confused. Rubik misses his hook. Pudge not about to do the same. Here we go, people. Go. Mio connects. You know what? It was an attempt. Almost. I'm, he must have lagged or something. The three-man telekinesis stun. Yes. Oh, my gosh. He's out. And no one dies that day. Not today, is what we say. Mm -hmm. Your ant continuing to farm. Uh oh, go oh, Colts in trouble. Looked Colts. back and obliterated. Couldn't even get a track on it. Well, you know, go Colts was there for a moment. Yeah, deleted. Here we go, Witch Doctor. In the air, Hook hooked out though. Oh. Likely still gonna die. Yes, he does. And now Mio in trouble on Pudge. They're definitely Stabby. dying. Bounty Hunter hunting bounties, oh, chasing the, the Butcher up to the tier threes. The Janata once again, a bite comes out, but it's not going to do anything. And another track kill picked up. That's a triple kill for your boy Shaggy on the Zeus. And now this is where we see these track kills really come into change here. So we see the bottom of the, if we look at like net worth here, all of these kills, these are all, well, almost all track kills. I'd say about 70% or more are going to be these track kills. So it just snowballed into a 7,000 gold lead where beforehand it was pretty darn even, right? Yeah. 
And then the yeah, the track just it just gives more and more an advantage to uh, Team Ricky. Sammy really doing a great job with it. Yeah, suddenly has Assange and Yasha. Connor Morph just pushing the tower with the techies. Doing his thing. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Tier 2 mid, a great objective. Mm hmm And it looks like Sammy wants to keep the pressure up. Uh, Vision is extremely important for Team Carlo, and we're really seeing that now. Hook, not going to connect, but Gold Colt's dropping to half HP, buying himself a little bit of time. Oh my God. Unable to get away, though. That damage. The song. Here's the song. Oh, this is the setup we got they a need. big catch. Here we go. Static Storm connects on the two most important heroes. Two spies himself some time, and Sammy goes for a play out, but he can't. Gold Colt's dropping his ult right on top. Leads to a kill on Zeus, but a great hook pulls Bounty out. Unfortunately, he dies in a second hook. Kills Rubik. Team what Carlo coming right back a in. Play. Really good heads up play there from Yaron. Just sees the heroes and is like, hey, you know, why don't we just Let's do it our combo? Storm. Song, kinetic field, or kinetic, yeah, kinetic field, static storm. This is yep. it. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to see some push coming out bottom. That was huge. Those are three really big kills. They're going to get a mid tier one tower yep. off of this. Reclaim a lot of the map, warding out the bottom side. Ooh! Techie's mine! He's Techie's mine! Top of Naga! Oh my gosh. Connor Morph, always two steps ahead. Yeah, that's... You know... Uh, you know the saying of like, one step forward, two steps back? Yes. That was like a two steps forward, one step back. So it was really just like a one step forward, right? I think. Yeah. Oh, Mio. Yikes. <laughs> oh, the now. Uh oh, now Eradicate in trouble here. No vision of Sammy. This is bad. They're going on Connor Morph with the real dangerous players are in and they go right on Eradicate. Meldic is going to connect on Rip. Ricky followed up with a Witch Doctor alt and a Witch Doctor oh, death. Glimmer. Seems, no, Glimmer Cape keeping him up. Knock Carter, uh, Eradicate gonna get out, and then Bunborn gonna get out. Oh my gosh, they just walk away! No vision! Amazing. It's amazing how much wards and a sentry will do for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Team Carlo gets away with their lives, doesn't give away any track gold. Less than a minute until uh, outposts. No, they're on the third. They're on the ten minutes. Remember? Oh, what am I talking about? Yeah. yeah. I still do that in games. I like ping down posts. <laughs> I get the twenty-four, the, whatever the four-minute mark is. I'm like, guys, let's go, let's go. It's changed so much. Bottom okay, lane, Sammy. Sammy caught. This is a kill we need. Do we have vision? Go Colts is there with so much vision, Ricky. He has half his net worth in vision. Let's see if we have enough damage. And yes, we do. Now Zeus may be in trouble. Song comes out, catches a Rubik. Pudge goes on to Zeus, and a big old hook for Mio will connect when it matters. Then go Colts dropping the ult. Techies is caught too. on the side, or Techies on the side, pulled right back, and a glimpse from Eradicate pulls Promos Rubik back into the fight. Mio's here. Don't hook go Colts though. No, he's gonna walk right up and fight him. This is all according to plan. Great job, Team Carlo. That was great. Really well done. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was a, that was a series of really good kills there. Sammy just being a little bit out of position gets caught out, and and really the bottom half of the map is the really dangerous spot for them to be. They, most of their vision is going to be on the top half. Um, the dire having just like made a, like a successful team fight in the bottom, um, you know that they've got like better vision there normally. Right now they don't, but um, most of the time. You, know, you, you can assume that Dyer's gonna have better vision. Yeah, um, it's... <sighs> Dyer has scan. to spend they so much it. money on vision. I would hope they have better vision. They need it. Sammy? Oh, he knows do we have a kill him. bottom? They're just collapsing Sammy? Go Colts, please. There we go. They know where he is. They catch him. The static storm. The whole nine yards. The kitchen sinks. Sammy's still not dropping. Go Colts, obviously. The only one able to finish him off. Connor Morph is here. We'll see if he's able to get a kill. Mio's positioning has been phenomenal. Always in front. Yeah, he has. He's a tanky boy. 14 flesh sheeps. He actually has telescope. I was trying to figure out how 
he got the uh, dismember range in that last. Uh, ah, the there's a huge hook. hook. A Yules, and then a great Witch Doctor, slightly worse after Blinding Light, but it's not going to stop Team Carlo from collecting a kill on Zeus, on Rubick. And then going for a tower, this Techie's caught. Kinetic Field mid lane, we have a little bit of a fight. Ricky versus Uran, Uran going to back up as bottom side. Team Carlo goes into charge, collecting a kill on Connor Morris. That's four dead again. They just wiped those exact eight heroes, or those same four heroes two times in a row. And Rikamaru, who was busy farming a BKB, just got forced to use his BKB in the mid lane by Uran. He's about to have a heart, by the way, and just over 400 gold. And everyone's flaying, flaming Sammy. Dang. The respect. Sammy is a cool-headed player, and I don't think he'll get slowed down by, uh... You know what they say, Ricky, the, the wolves don't concern themselves with the opinion of the sheep. True. Now, you're on with a heart, so I'm ready to see more of an impact from this, uh, Furious Farmer. I'll be honest, I don't think I have ever seen a Disruptor move this fast in any of my games. <laughs> That's a good mount. He's That's a pay-to-win mount. That mount has an os. <laughs> Dang. And the draft coming out as a potential flaw or strength. Sammy about to get hit by Gokult's blast. Gokult is in his head. Gokult follows it up. He reveals him. There's a glimpse coming back. Sammy has been caught out. He's going to try and take Gokult with him. But a static storm. Every single spell. Three hero alts have been expended to stop one man. Oh my god. They're just... They're slaughtering my boy. Team Carlo has isolated the strongest link in Team Ricky. And is making an example in front of the four other talented but weaker links. Well, there still is the techies factor here. Ricky, you never know what could happen. Maybe True. Team Carlo just wants to run um, in top of a bunch of mines. You know, I can always hope. Uh oh, Shanky uh, top on top of Mio, but with the BKB, Mio's not really going to get slowed down here. He's the only weakness on Let's Team Carlo. Go go weak sports are Mio going deep, trying to kill the Zeus. Needs some damage from his teammates. An eradicate appearance is here. They Down below. Anyway. Um, Zeus, we have Ricky caught out. A glimpse then gets Techies, and a blinding light brings him back. A stolen uh, Death Ward might lead to a kill on Eradicate. No, it may have been exactly what Team Carlo needed to bait Sammy in. Stunned up. Hook, hook back. Again. Oh. Did not go anywhere. Everyone on Team Carlo is standing, but Team Ricky was taken out from the top lane all the way down to the base. Is GG seriously called? I don't know. I think it might be. I think that's a legit GG. They are that calling was it. Game GG, one. Ricky. Oh my gosh. They're done. They want out. They're like, all right, you guys, you guys gonna pick real heroes? We're gonna pick some real heroes. Once again, underdog, two years ago, Go Colts led, unheard of team UIC to the grand final stage. And here today, after everyone doubted him being a first pick in the all-star players draft for Team Carlo, he leads an underdog story, striking vengeance against a super farmed bounty hunter and turning on his friend, Sammy. Go Colts once again has led a team to a championship. Or at least a game win. Dude, I would say, hold on, hold on. This is just game one. We still got a game <laughs> two coming up here. Um, we'll see how they do. I, I'm, I'm curious to see if Team Ricky is going to go with another kind of kind of a meme draft. Or if they're going to pick their real heroes here and uh, give it the good old college try. So we'll, we'll see. I'm... I'm... Uh, Eradicate, known for his mid-disruptor. Um... <laughs> I'm not sure. We'll see. Well, the, I think the players want to want to battle it out in a, in a chat room right now before they battle it out uh, in front of some ancients. I agree. I agree. Um, that being said, we'll go on a short break. Does that sound good to you? That sounds perfect to me, Ricky. All right. We'll see you in a little bit. See you guys soon.
Let's get right into some upcoming music. This right here is a brand new one coming to the label from Tony Romera. I think you're really going to dig this. Here is Lover Us. Enjoy and let us know what you think at hashtag COTW Radio. Then stick around because right after that, we have some more new music. Thank you. 
playlist soon as promised we're gonna be dropping some more exclusives here as rogue this one is called move me enjoy and you know the drill let us know on socials that you're tuned in at hashtag cotw radio let's go Welcome back. Game number two here. Hey, Ricky. Yeah, how you doing, Carlo? I'm doing well, man. I'm ready for game number two. I'm coming off a cool victory high here. Nice. Looking to, uh, to round this out with a second win. Nice, nice. So one thing I noticed, uh, my team was talking up a big game here in between the drafts, saying that uh, they're actually going to try and play this time. You know, last time they, oh. uh, they weren't giving it their all. This time might be a little different. Um, yeah, go Colts. Uh, as I did last time, uh, going into game two, I let him take off the weights, and he's also gonna take off the blindfold. So that makes a big difference, um, I hear, with uh, computer gaming. Yeah. yeah, the thing is, uh, they just um, have someone else playing on his account, so he doesn't disgrace himself. So one thing I noticed, Team Carlo, not changing up the bands at all. Target banning Sammy. All four bands are his offlane heroes. Five seconds. Leaving not much left in the pool uh, in terms of offlaners. But Coddle, however, is still pickable if they want to pick it up themselves as opposed to giving it to Team Carlo this time. Uh, after seeing Go Colts play uh, a devastating performance on Keeper of the Light last time, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Team Ricky tried to deny it. However, Lich being picked up. Know what that means. I don't think Team Carlo takes the Grimstroke. It's an all-star match, man. I'm not... I, I'd, are the players really so fired up? You think we're going to see some more meta picks? In my mind, doing Lich Grimstroke in an all-star match is... Remaining. is... Uh, is... is not really the point. I would... If I were Team Carlo, I would keep my cool and pick a nice, like, Pudge. Um... Like our spirit opener. Yeah, Mio owned it on Pudge last game. Yes, he did. Hey, you were right. Yeah, I mean, if they don't take it, they're going to take it. 100%. Shoo, Dota, making an appearance. Well, going in, there's just going to be a uh, Grimstroke potentially coming out. Um... Ten seconds remaining. From uh, Team Ricky. Radiant Team Band. No, the they go for the Necrophos. They're not even going to go for what we expected, the Lich Grimstroke combination. Dire Team Band. So this is interesting because like this, uh, this Necro pick is it's pretty sick against the Bristleback. Yes. No, I'm just saying that's all. That's all I gotta say. It's pretty oh. sick against Bristleback. You know, <laughs> it's pretty sick. I thought you were like leading into something. No, it's just like a good lane counter against the Bristleback. He doesn't really care. He he can contest the hero pretty well. Um, I'm just. It's one another scenario where I don't know if that means if they're going to like run this as a mid necro or if they're going to run this as an off lane. You can't run necro as a support. He he's way too item dependent. So I 
I like. I, first of all, when you have a double undead hero uh, opening, that uh, usually strikes fear into your opposition's heart. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you can see the the synergy you pointed out. Uh, Necrophos versus Bristleback. My concern here, Ricky, is we've been watching SBU's shoe dominate people on Bristleback all year, and every team who studies the best team studies uh, SBU. Therefore, every team is well versed uh, in their play style. Um, maybe she inadvertently taught this generation of CSL players to be godlike bristleback players. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a lot of really good points you just made. I'm really curious to see what uh, these teams come up with here for the second phase because. Oh, wow. Very unique pick here. Haven't seen this one before. <laughs> Uh, I'm happy Dr. to see Kyle. the Witch Doctor picked up. I think it's a really fun hero. I like, I just like the hero. He's just like he's he's a good hero. He's he's not uh, exceptional, but you can fit him um, in almost any lineup because like the situations he excel are like the situation Ten where Lich excels remain. when two heroes are isolated beside each other. It's like that's dependent regardless of your Five picks, you're likely going to run into that situation um, at some point during your game. Dusk. Okay. I like hey, there's the a tusk. Pick. That's pretty cool. The, yeah. the Witch Doctor is also pretty good against Necrophos, so Ghost Shroud isn't that effective against him because Maledict, being so much damage, can still pick up through that Ghost Shroud. But yeah. on the other side, Maledict re relies on heroes. It, it actually the relies damage on... Damage change. Yeah, the, like exactly. Change, it right? is the change in health. Um, and seconds, it's one of those things where Necro can just Ghost Shroud wand and your Maledict will do no damage. What, um, and also, like, the Ghost Shroud is going to stop the damage from Witch Doctor Alt coming out, uh, making him, <clears throat> um, unable to get hit by physical. Pugna. Hey, speaking of unable to hit by physical, Decrep Master Pugna picked up. I'm loving Team Carlov's lineup. Yeah, this is cool. Pugna, I think, is one of the strongest heroes of the patch right now. This hero is insane. You know what I want to see is a core AA on Team Ricky. What if they, I mean, they actually could, Ten believe it or not. That remain. actually could work. I think that'd be fun. Five seconds remaining. We're going into reserve time here. Now, is that a Sammy um, Necro slash Tusk? I think it is. I think it is going to end up being a three position Tusk, realistically. They can run it as a four, which would be Connor Morph's hero. But I think Tusk is somewhat flexible. Seeing the picks right now, they might want to go for something a little bit faster pace. But it's one of those things where what heroes are left? They've just banned five offlane heroes. <laughs> hey, Void Spirit. All right, that's a shaggy boy, which means yeah. this Necrophos is probably the three position. And we're going to be dealing... Uh, you know, you could run Necro on the safe lane against the Bristleback just fine. So maybe yeah. that's pr actually a really good lane because he's a hero that... Builds wand no matter what, and into the bristleback is really easy. So I think that's what we're gonna see. A safe lane necro here, the mid void spirit, and the, this should be a four position tusk bin. Shaggy reserving the last pick. I'm surprised he didn't go for like the ember or anything, but I guess ember is pretty rough into pugna. Um, is it actually rough into pugna? Isn't ember just actually really good? I'm surprised they didn't just go Ember Spirit there instead of Void Spirit. This would have been an amazing Ember Spirit game. I could see that. Ember Spirit's really one of those like kind of finesse heroes where the player can just run away with a good game. Radiant oh. team ban. I think Shaggy thinks uh, Void Spirit's just better right now. Which is... Yeah. Which Juggernaut's is fair when you're out. talented as Shaggy yeah. is. Joke's on them. It's going to be a safe lane Necro. <laughs> I'm kind of looking uh, for Team Carlo. Like on one end, we have Tank Master, uh, Bristleback. On the other end, we have Magic Master, Pugna. I think they could have a balance of the two, a nice hero to round that out. I was thinking of maybe someone like Lena, who has high physical and magic damage, but she seems too squishy. I think they want someone a little tankier than that. They need a physical damage hero on the side of Team Ricky. They, they, all of their damage is mostly magic. Um, other than Void Spirits like Astral Step, everything else in his kit's magic damage. Tusk does physical damage, but... What about a Monkey King? 
Go safe lane monkey. They banned anti mage. Maybe that is a necro off lane. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds I'm remaining. Maybe Slark's good enough here. What about no, not Ursa. Maybe Ursa. Ursa's what about not bad, actually? Honestly, I would have liked to see the Juggernaut for Team Carlo that they banned. What what if they end up putting this bristle back in the safe lane? Maybe that's what their play is. Ooh. Wraith King. I was even thinking Team Carlo could take a Wraith King. That is a good pick. They really needed the physical damage from this hero. My worry is all three of their cores are very item dependent. Like Void Spirit, Necrophos, Wraith King all want like a couple items. Void Spirit that Yules into like one other item. I guess this game, Aghanim Scepter, is he probably just goes Yules Ags to be honest. Yeah. Necrophos needs to tank up. He's gonna need to pipe a uh, pipe very early. Remaining. Probably a Yules as well. Uh, probably just pipe four staff. I think. I think pipe four staff. He's pretty much unkillable. Okay, so that's reasonable. This is an incredibly good four staff game for the Raiders. Ember Spirit usually gets a Yules. They need something to do with the Wraith King, though. They could go Phantom Lancer. Phantom Lancer is really bad in lane against Necrophos, though, is their issue. Yeah. It's like one of the worst lane matchups. What if they take the Ricky? That would be the pick, I think. It's actually not that bad. Right? That's yeah, what I'm saying. Take okay. the Ricky. They're the unsure. With, Maybe they're the problem with the Rick Maru pick is if he ever gets caught, he is so dead. Yeah, you'd you'd probably want like double four staff or four staff glimmer. Here we go. There it is. Hey! There we go. Alright, stream snipers, hundred percent. Guarantee Perfect you, pick Gold coming Coles up for Team Carlo. On that one. And we're going to actually have uh, Bunborn playing Wish Doctor and Go playing uh, Coddle. Two games in a row. Great Lich cosmetics, also. Yeah. Uh, Sammy Necro. Okay. Yeah, it is going to be Samuel and Necrophos. So that's what I was thinking. Like the three position. Wait, they're running Eradicate mid. It is going to be. Uran could go mid too. I think their plan is to put the Rikamaru there, but I don't think I don't the, I don't think either of those heroes beat Void Spirit mid. Is the thing. Even the uh, Pugna, like Pugna is probably a better option just because you have Nether Blast for harass and you can decrypt for auto attack. So like deny. But if Rick Amaro goes mid, he's he is gonna have a terrible game. Yeah, that's tough, right? Um, ever since um, permanent invisibility was okay, yeah, it is. Uh, it is. You're on mid. Rick Amaro is gonna go safe lane. There we go. Pause coming out. It's waiting for the stream to catch up so they can snipe wards. I see. Beast bump. They're gonna aggro this. Interesting. This is exactly what I expected. I think they definitely want the Bristleback. Um, or they definitely want Necro to face the Bristleback. That is yeah, definitely the best case scenario. It's a great lane for him. May the light, the light can't kill the dead. Watch your step. It's six feet down. <laughs> So how are you feeling about your draft coming into game two, Ricky? It's pretty good. I, I think you know they. I think this is a much more even draft on paper. But like I said, my only concern is that they have three cores that need a lot of items, mm -hmm. and I, depending on how well Sammy does, though, it could be pretty solid. Like if he gets like an early pipe, he. I don't think he can afford to go Guardian Greaves this game. Is as really good as it is. He just needs like another. He needs like four staff. Basically, he like has to get a four staff this game. It is. I agree. Um, four staff's going to be extremely important. <laughs> also, but depending on how uh, good of a game Eradicate has uh, and has and uh, Mio, we could see both these players active very early, yeah. uh, taking map presence away from Team Ricky who needs to farm. 
Exactly. My concern is that if Bristleback doesn't have a good game, I think that Team Ricky will be able to roll over Team Carlo with no real front line. Uh, it's yeah, that's a possibility. I think Pugna is such a strong hero right now that it's going to be difficult. Like this hero is, it's whack. It really is. This hero is way too strong. I like Pugna. It's been quite Seven effective. Seven second life history. drain is just so stupid. The dumbest thing I think that's happened to this hero in a very long time. <laughs> they basically just gave him his axe. Like, they actually yeah. just gave him his Aghanim Scepter for free. Like, 4,200 gold item for free at level 6. Like, how is that balanced? <laughs> well, they did adjust the damage on it. We'll see how it is. But that is a big part of uh, playing Pugna was the cooldown. Yeah, it was the only reason. Um, that was, like, the whole reason you went yeah, axe. Actually. You didn't care about the damage. It was always the cooldown. Nice this could be a dream here. cast from Witch Doctor, Girl, but instead they'll just go for the bounty. Two and two once again. The wrap around from Team Carlo. Ooh, Liches. Take a good amount of damage there. Uh, Tusk actually went for the Orb of Venom. I'm expecting he's going to be able to get up uh, close and personal during the lane. I mean, it does make a lot of sense with Tag Team. So this again is one of those scenarios where I just don't like this orb purchase. Unless he's ferrying a headdress like immediately onto Sammy, it's just not value. Like he just needs to start with a headdress and then get a wand, like allow Sammy to go straight for a wand. Because he's not gonna trade against this bristleback. No, he's not. And also uh Keeper of Light has a very fast movement speed. Go Colts, uh harassing Sammy bottom again. Commenting on one CS. Wow. Uh, what a guy. One CS and it's time to all chat. I expect nothing less from the coach of Underdogs. Shaggy mid lane is having a fantastic time. Four, now five and zero versus the one and zero. As like I said, the I don't think Pugnan really beats this unless uh, uh, Gokul's taking a lot of damage. Bottom actually, Ricky. Gokul's getting neutral creep denied. How does that even happen? So what happened was Gokul's pushed the Necrophos and got out of position and Tusk came up behind him and they completely underestimated the damage and Necrophos and Tusk hitting with tag team killed Gokul's in like four auto attacks plus a uh, death pulse. That's wild. And But luckily Gokul's managed to get a wild wing ripper to deny him, obviously according to plan. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Sammy just got baited by his own range creep. <laughs> and uh, Connor Morph just doing his best to harass. Yeah, I mean, they, he doesn't have Harassed Bristle back quite yet, so he can play a little bit aggressive in this lane. They don't know that quite yet since he hasn't used the Nasal Goo. Yeah. Nice to know there. Let's go back on this mid lane. Now 13 and 0. Gosh. And you can't really get a lot of denies against a Pugna because he just decreps you, so that's that's not yeah. too surprising. Top Goku is just caught again. Again, tag team again a deny. Fantastic play from Goku doing what many players can't do once, twice in two games. Hashimoto and just dove the tower. Tower, however, extremely deep. So he, this is exactly what I was talking about. Sammy needs to get an early stick. And they just bait him under the tower. And he's just, he did not see the 10 stick charges sitting on this Necrophos. He just heals back up to about a third HP. The yeah. Saints do that last quill and they get themselves the first real kill in the bottom lane, despite three deaths coming between the two of them. Carter actually doing a great job for or eradicate 14 and 0 in a solo lane, um, at least right now. Uh, collecting solo XP. Shaggy falling low in the mid lane, but he's got a south. He's gonna be just fine. Are they going again on, on this keeper? Yes, they are. Go Colts. Once again, uh, bottom, however, Connor Morph in trouble. Connor Morph actually blocks himself I in. I think this will be a kill. <laughs> Mio getting the last hit. Well, I tried. That was a good, a really good voice line. Oh, Yaron yeah. walks right into uh, Remnant in the mid lane. Never mind. He didn't have Resident Pulse up, so it doesn't matter. So, Go Colts, blinding light on Sammy. Accomplishes very little, actually. Sammy's not doing too bad. Oh, he oh, does it. Oh, there it is, under tower. I warned you not to Dang. 
And he's got a salve and he's getting really close to that bottle, which the time is going to be really good because the four minute runes are coming out here. And he's going to be an illusion in the bottom. Not the most exciting uh, rune. Picked up here by Shaggy. All right, Sammy's got his magic wand, making his life so much better. Being able to not yes. only stack more charges, but... Ooh, Gorkul's caught. We have a tag team coming out, but a blinding light. Great counter. Snowball will get Tusk right back into lane. Sammy might go for a courier kill here. No. Is Sammy in trouble? Sammy has, he has 18 it. charges. Yeah, he's got a lot yeah, of wand charges. Right he's going to be forward. fine. Mid lane, Shaggy. Hey, great be catch by Tusk, but a blinding light actually knocks him right out. Puts him in trouble. Mio going in for Tusk. I think Mio's going to get a kill after another quill spray. See where the snowball goes. Great positioning here from Mio. Doesn't get the kill. There we go. With the quill spray, Gokuls wants to go deep. A blinding light knocking Sammy back. Sammy, 13 charges on the wand. A death pulse coming out. Uh, that's a double uh, nasal goo, actually, from the chakra magic and Mio might be in trouble no he's not crystal backs the tower that was a big play actually yeah okay and that's a kill top lane bunborn caught out by the void spirit that's a quick easy kill for him so yes they do trade in the bot lane but uh getting that kill on sammy at this point in the game is really important being able to yes, slow down is. the necrophos is a big deal it's a hero that uh can snowball a game very quickly if left alone. Uh, Wish Doctor makes his way back top, and we have Eradicate halfway through level 5 right now. Yeah, he's gonna have an early 6 for sure. Compared to the Wraith King, he's about a level behind. Eradicate going straight for a defusal on his Ricky. He's to purge mana and do damage. Works well. Top side, we have a go on Lich. The great uh, cast coming up from Witch Doctor. Locking both players inside of uh, Tricks of the Trade. We're going to have Lich fall and eradicate and Witch Doctor push Wraith King out of the lane. I think a lot of this game is going to come on Shaggy's momentum in this mid lane. Yeah. How many how many kills he can help find and recover these silence because they are not going exceptionally well. They are radiant not. right now. Sammy bottom uh, line just might be dead. He's building those stack charges so fast. Hey, your hands here. However, I think he's been scouted. I don't know if they saw him actually. Ah, they might. They didn't. They do see the Nether Ward now. Yeah, it's gotta see the debuff for sure. Negative one mana regen. Very nice. Okay, your ranch showing no points. No points in Illuminate. Mio found them under tower, but locked in. Potentially having a kill. We're gonna see Tusk dropping low. Mio sitting on Sammy. Tusk gets it back with the wand. Sammy unable to stay alive. Tusk makes a break for it. Tusk makes it out, but they got who they came for. Yeah, they, they again, they're just trying to shut down Sammy. He's he's a big player for this game. Microphos being extremely yeah. item dependent. And Shaggy, I think, picked up a kill rotating to the top lane. Yeah, finding the uh, Witch Doctor, but it's not the Rikamaru. And that's yeah. that's the big trades here is the fact that they're able to take down these cores. Oh, hey, you're pick on. Up another one, though. You're on dead. With the void inside. And a double damage rune. This is great for Shaggy. He's really strong. Dyer's Where's you next, Shaggy? Is under attack. Might just put some tam damage on mid. I think he's fine trying to clear out mid a couple more times until he sees Yuron show in a lane. God, the damage and the aggression from uh, Witch Doctor Ricky top lane. Constantly pushing Witch Doctor or Wraith King Lich out. Even bottom lane, you see it too. Um, Coddle and Bristleback pushing out Necrophos and Tusk. Yeah, good old Chakra Magic Quill Spray. Very great combo. Yeah, just perfect synergy. Let us 
Yuran a little bit timid in the mid lane. Two levels behind. Oh, it's a little too far out. Yeah, and there's going to be a teleport in from Lich. Now, he wants to go on Mio. Gokolts will drop, and Lich might be able to get a kill here. Great positioning. Sets him up for a Sinister Gaze. Followed up with a Frost Blast. Now, we have Tusk in there dropping a Frost Shield. Sammy coming He's in to collect the now. kill. Reaper. There you go. That's a great rotation. And he kill. gets that level 6 from killing Gokolts and, like, half the creep wave and rotates over. So, uh, Bristlebach doesn't die there otherwise. You know, he just walks away. Yeah. Now check out that uh, faded brooch. Brooch. Ooh, mid lane. Are you getting a little bit too cocky there? Let me just find that. Ten minute bounty runes are coming up. But he holds this ground here. He gets double bottled on the bounty runes, and he knows it. So yeah. he is feeling very strong. Bottom lane. Definitely. Gokult's still in base, deciding what to do with his life right now as he saves for his base. <laughs> Unsure about his skill build and his position in the world. Uh. Oh, he's bottle one sec. Turns out he is actually contemplating his life. Yes. No rune for you. I'm surprised that Shaggy did not stay at the bounty rune. He does have Astral Step at least, so he can definitely, if it, the power rune spawns here, he can take it Astral Step over to the bounty. Yeah. But He has uh, a Tusk coming too. I think he's fine. Yeah. Probably just pinging it like, hey, someone go get the power rune, but... Yeah. Unfortunate for him, sir, it is going to be gone. This is going to reset Shaggy in this mid lane, too, which is really strong. He's about to be level 10. He has an urn going for the Spirit Vessel. Bunburn's only level 4, 4.5. Yeah, he has had a rough time top, but he has really given a lot of soul XP over to the Rikamaru. So yeah. There's a good level advantage there. What did Wraith King skill this game? One one four. That is not correct, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think you bother going Wraith Fire Blast, and I think you go zero three three. It is Vampiric Aura is way too good. Yeah, it's a really good spell. Gokult's really struggling here, um, but both teams doing quite well. Slight lead. For Team Ricky at the moment, a uh, big part of that is Shaggy uh, doing very well mid while both side lanes suffered. I am legitimately surprised at Sammy's net worth. Because he is ahead of the Bristleback, who is 4 and 3, but Sammy is now 2 and 2. I guess there was a good amount of gold bounty that came off those two kills since they, they were pretty far ahead. Everyone enjoying the chat spam. What's your, do you have a favorite chat line? Um, that I have like unlocked. Just in general, I like Tusk's fist bump. Fist bump. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Um, I don't know, man. I kind of like Pudge's. His are pretty funny. There but we go. Pudge voice lines are good. Um, Rick Oops, was that me? Voice lines. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mid lane. You're on to walk away. That blows my mind. Connor Morph goes for a kill on Witch Doctor. Shaggy's coming. Too soon for the stun to come out. Has this potentially put Shaggy in a dangerous position? No, maybe Tusk though. Gonna hit him with the blast, the suck. Not able to keep it. Go cold. Fast boy. Without no boots, light. but it still gets out. Wraith King just going for that Radiance, the standard build there. Nothing yep. the newest change with this hero in nine months. Bottom lane, Sammy is just getting ran out again. He has a mech. Yeah, it's now we're having a teleport off. coming in here. Leave that out. Oh, Shaggy wants That's to fight down here. That's a rotation. Yeah, looking to kill Mio. We're going to get him under tower. That is a fantastic response, Shaggy. Not only does he keep Sammy alive, but another hero probably doesn't kill the Bristleback. But Shaggy yeah. does enough damage where they can definitely zone him off. Mm -hmm. And Tusk nearly snags Gokult's. 
And Sammy ends up just going for a first item mech to just stay alive. Look at this, Duran actually rotating bottom. Uh, Dude, looks like a lost fight instead of pushing mid. That is a uh, BM scythe if I have ever seen. That is Sammy turning yeah. on the aggression to make sure Gold Colts yeah. is put in his place. Yeah, I love that. I should have picked him. <laughs> Mio's getting dropped pretty low bottom. I don't know if he has the sustain for this. Astral or uh, Remnant doesn't hit. They got him. Hey, just killed. I mean, he just TP'd back. Dying like that twice on an, on a, on the offlane hero um, is really rough. Because not only yes. do you are you removed from the game for about a minute, right? Like he's had about 60 seconds of death timer, but he now has to walk back to the lane. Yeah, more time uh, spent on front of me. Mio's just like, I'm, I'm out. Later, guys. GG. I'm out. Oh, that's a C. That's a rage quit if I've ever seen, guys. Again, Team Ricky DDoSing Team Carlo with their backs against the wall. They don't know any other way they could possibly win. I'm kidding, of course, guys. Mio is <laughs> a very, very well-mannered player. Would never BM like that. My bad. Go. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So Sammy's game mostly recovered now, considering he's top net worth. Uh, going for that pipe of insight and the force hey, the two top exact rune items. here. Ran once again caught out. He's staying alive. No, the sinister gaze interrupting the suck. Those and now it seems we're gonna have Bunborn drop. This is ominously similar to last game where Team Ricky got like these series of great kills in the early mid game and then somehow yeah. through the entire game. So this yeah, is... Team Carlo just hit all their alts. Yeah. So let's just hope that it does not go down that path, right, Carlo? I think that we could see that again. It's <laughs> it's common that we see uh, Team Carlo victorious, so I never oh, uh, put that out of my mind. Jack Eradicate here. Uh, he'll always be fine. He's got... Oh. The broom handle on Ricky, that seems fun to play with. I, it's okay. I honestly don't think it's that strong. Yeah. Hanging him out mid lane. Do they have a damage for this? Actually, top side, we're going on Wraith King as well. Oh, well, in the, the mid lane, here we go, executed. We're going to have Mio drop. He has reincarnation. Topside, it looks like Ray King made it away. He's going to no, die there, popped. but there's no follow-up. Mm -hmm. And well played by Shaggy, just uh, baiting in this Bristleback over and over in that mid lane. Tusk showing up, and then obviously Sammy's final TP there to the mid lane, securing it with the Reaper Scythe is a lot of damage. And again, putting Sammy in a great position to go forward. Has a four staff completed right out of the gate. Knows that it's pretty much the it is the best item in this game. It counters all three cores on the side yeah. of the dire. There's no reason that there shouldn't be four four staffs on the side of the radiant at the end of this game. Of course. The only exception being Wraith King. Every other eh. And I think even Void Spirit may want a four staff, honestly. Um or he goes we're actually having maybe. Wraith King baited top right now. As two supports rotate around. Uh Wraith King get, get losing his alt. Then sat, sat behind by two supports, but here we go. Mio shows up and finds uh, Tusk with a great Lich alt. Only going to bounce twice, and then we're going to have Tusk go in and eliminate Witch Doctor, but Ricky eliminates the Lich and then takes the Tusk out. Uh, Raid King without an alt knows he should not be here and runs away. Ricky very close to defusal. Yeah, he's getting strong. I mean, After this creep wave, I think. Yeah, he's got it. There we nice. go. That's a defusal blade. Eradicate having a 15 minute defusal is very scary. It is. Uh, Uran still struggling to hold his own mid, now playing against Sammy. But and Mio being a space crater. He can't do anything about it. It, it. it is just the best item in this game. Shaggy's gonna go and get the other bounty rune as well, just in case. Yeah. Duran walks up into it. Ooh, Shaggy's gonna go for this, it seems. But here we go, Unborn missing actually both his spells. Still dropping the alt, Ricky here, jumping on top. Shaggy might have overextended. Yes, he did. Huge yes, pickup for Carter for Eradicate. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it is. He didn't know the defusal was coming out. And uh, as a result, can't escape the, the cloud. Just gets picked yeah. off. That was a perfect reveal for uh, Eradicate. Radiant are scanning. Sammy sees Action. in place award, so he's gonna just really deward that in a moment. 
Yeah, okay. Mio caught here. Sinister Gaze for Staff. Tusk coming in from downtown, but Gokul's rotating in. We might have a Will-O-Wisp. Yes, we do. Holding them away from killing Mio. Wisp is going to fall. Potentially? No. Sammy unable to claim it, actually. Wraith King just died solo top to the Rikamaru because of the mana burn. I th yeah, I think he wasn't ready for the defusal. Eradicate, be quiet, but playing a great game. He has dust on Void Spirit. He should be able to get this kill with a plus one for sure. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, jumping in. Tricks of the Trade coming out. We're going to have to see a jump here. Eradicate, but there's a snowball coming in. He's taken the out Reapers. and... The that's Reapers. a minute. Yeah, on the sideline, 60 seconds thanks to that increased duration. 25 seconds added to his respawn timer. That's basically half his respawn timer. That is. And now a push coming out from both teams in the far lanes. Mm -hmm. Yuran pushes very quick. Um, Yuran being by far the hardest pushing hero, or fastest pushing hero in the game on Team Carlo, pushing the bottom. Well, Necrophos and Lich team up to, to uh, siege top with a creep wave. And I, I really like Mio's decision here to just try and chase Wraith King out of the jungle as well. Like, he he's not getting a lot of space. His Radiance isn't being delivered. He went Shadow Blade. He just said, screw it. I'm going to go Shadow Blade instead of Radiance. Okay. okay. Shaggy now putting himself in a dangerous position, but two points in Astral Step or two charges should be okay. Shaggy on the top, the finds Bunborn. Bunborn might die to this. Great stun, bouncing off the Ancient Creeps too. This could be huge. Forced to uh, disperse. Shaggy's just oh. dead. Uh, Witch Doctor taken out, but Eradicate showing up, finishes off Void Spirit. Now, we have Wraith King in trouble underneath. Actually, Uran was taken out by rotation in from Lich and Tusk. Eradicate still going. Team Ricky trying to put their sights on him, but not until they drop Tusk. A great ult from Gokul's holding Sammy back. Four staff back out. Gokul's chasing him, trying to get something in. Eradicate taking a lot of damage. Sammy knows he's tanky. Eradicate sets his sight on Lich, no, goes back. Sammy cutting three players under tower. He's just got no help. Great play They're from uh, Ricky. Yeah, it's they, the Wraith King just opted to go push mid instead of showing up to the fight. So, I don't know. It, it just seems really weird. He, he um, well, now he has a Shadow Blade, right? So that's a fighting item. So it's likely we're going to see him start showing up now. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Goes right for the people's gift. Shaggy. Shaggy is having a rough game, and this is exactly what I said. All of a he, I, I feel like he needed a four staff because if he he can't just get caught by the Rikamaru's smoke screen. It's yeah. It's incredibly damaging to his hero's kit, and yeah. If there's no one else to save him, he's just dead. So he's going a Yule's. Which will help a little bit, but I feel like he just either needs BKB or four staff. Yeah. Radiant are scanning. Are starting to get incredibly farmed. Scan does connect right on the nose. Oh, there Yeah, Shaggy pushing up here. Likely going to find Bunborn. Yes, they do. Does Eradicate want to make an appearance against these two players? Probably not. Oh, but he does. Going in on Shaggy. A dust yeah, drops with the Basher. Uh, Ricky's very scary, he but he's going to come. No! Eliminating Shaggy. Now Tusk is brought in. It looks like they're going to get killed on Eradicate. Yes, they do. That's a good counter kill. I think Team Carlo is going to retreat. All right. I mean, overall, it ended up being pretty good. Shaggy dying, again, not ideal for him. Uh, but securing those two kills overall ends up being really good because they do get the outpost as a result. Securing that XP. Sammy is the one queuing up the Radiance now. As Wraith King, they're just telling him, you know what, build fighting items. Yeah. That's what you need to do. Yeah. What do you think? Nether Shawl actually picked up on Sammy. Sammy doesn't use it. Okay. Yeah, I think he actually does need the armor. I don't think Nether Shawl is that good for him. Yeah, uh, you're right. The Faded Brooch is fantastic, so yes. more movement speeds is fine. Better than nothing, for sure. A Vambrace would be, I, I think, ideal. A Grove Bow, in maybe you give that to Shaggy, but I don't know. Not an okay, ideal item for the Radiant, for sure. Cool. 
that Raiden has some fantastic items. The, the Vamp Fangs on Bristleback, the Aquila on Ricky, Pupil's Gift, I mean, I, I guess it's okay on Keeper of the Light. It's not, nothing special, though. Yeah, it's fine. Something to hold on to. Uh, Mio actually forcing Shaggy out mid until uh, Necrophos and Tusk show Ooh, up. He caught the like Ricky with that. Die here. However, we have alts coming out. First, we have Keeper of the Light follow it up. A Witch Doctor Death Ward. Here we are. Now, what great Lich Alt, but a Creep Wave shows up to suck up a ton of the damage. But Witch Doctor continues his alt underneath the Wisp. Now, Eradicate's the only one in on Ricky. Locked off by Tusk. Doesn't matter. Jumps over. Gets a bash on Tusk. Doesn't kill the Wraith King. We're going to have Ricky back out now. That Witch Doctor ult was so good. It was just max yeah. range on the high ground there, giving him so much vision of these heroes. Allows him to chase, secure that kill onto the, the uh, Void Spirit. Now they're gonna be able to get to mid tier tower off of this, most likely. Most likely, yes. Here we go with the catapult too. Mio has to tank this. Someone does. That's a nice little play by Tusk there. Actually, shard blocked the siege wagon out so that yeah. it couldn't hit the tower. That was a slick play. Okay, we're going in. Eradicate immediately goes in on Sammy. A four staff out. That's what we need to see from Team Ricky. Yeah, they they have to just buy four staffs. The fact that they don't have four staffs being built on the, this Lich is just... Okay, this Here is we suicide. go, Snowball in. We're going to have Pugna be the target. But Connor more likely going to drop. Now Jolly Shadowblades in goes right on Mio. On the backside of the fight, we actually have Eradicate caught out, isolated, and destroyed. Rifty has ult. They can do this. has his ult, exactly. He's going to get ready to turn this. Mio wants to keep going. Shaggy is in Carlo's sights. However, Wraith King looks like he's going to die again. A Remnant interrupts Pugna. Saving Wraith King's life for a little bit longer. Mio continuing to go and finally looking like he's taking some damage. The fight's been going on so long. We have a Death War coming back up. Gokul's about to miss his Illuminate on everything. And now Shaggy makes another entrance. Again, turning on Mio. No he might have gone too far. No, he steps out. This is, I mean, the the Wraith King going for the Silver Edge makes sense when he wants to try and blow up the Bristleback, but for right now, the fights are so difficult for them because this Rikamaru just goes on the back line and locks down these supports because they don't have any way out. There it is, Tusk doing up the Force Staff. He needs one automatically. Lich yeah. still going for this Glimmer Cape, which, I mean, it is at least some form of a save mechanic. Yeah. It's something, it's something to help out with. Maybe he's getting close to the Radiance. He's not cool, that Especially far. when he levels his ultimate up again. Who is? Lich. With a Glimmer Cape and no mana items. Um, I'm just concerned he's going to have trouble casting his spells. When he gets his next level in his ult. A little wrap around here, but... A little ward place behind the tower. That's a super scary tower to defend, especially against this Bristleback, who has now Lotus Orb Pipe. Yeah, Mio doing a great job of being a space creating position three. Are fortified. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower has fallen. Okay. Gonna go tier one into tier two. Radiant not opting to fight this. At this point, if you see them up here like this, Wraith King needs to be bottom lane. I, I think like yeah. they actually just need to be shoved in this lane. They will take the outposts because they if they can shove bot and secure both of these runes bottom, it's a big deal. Let's see how they uh, how they handle it in just a moment here. I see Carlo. He's pushing through the top side. Baggy pushing the tower in. He's going for the bounty runes. Exactly what needs to happen here. We'll afford it. Skeleton should clean this up pretty easily. Okay. Nice. They get the tower. And good overall map rotation there. But they don't go for the other bounty. It's going to be a Roshan attempt here. Very easy to do with Bristleback having that nasal goo. Backstab for Rekamaru is no joke. Yeah. Tons of damage coming out. There we go. And the smoke cloud. Buying time. There we go. It's a drop. Neo picks it up. Exactly. You should have it. Didn't expect that, but just unfortunately too late for them. Orb of Destruction, however, is a really good item. Yeah. I would like that on the Void Spirit, but they are going to hold it on the Wraith King for right now. 
I'm showing bottom. Might be in trouble. Oh, the remnant misses though. He still has no spear vessel charges, so not gonna be able to do much with it. <laughs> Here we go. Go Colts, Glimmer Cape, trying to make no he's not gonna get anything. Quickening charm. Mid lane? Is this back dead here? You got these broken, he's taking a lot of damage. The break is great against him. However, even if he does die, he has an Aegis. Yeah, Stunned. He almost, he almost reaped Now we have Shaggy going very deep. Eradicate caught out. Ricky in trouble. This is not what we want to see. Remnant now holding them. Ricky. The Ricky. That's the kill. Out. Mio's going to fall next. Great ult coming out from Keeper. Here we go. Mio drops. Team Carlo not in good shape. Unable to finish any of the players on Team Ricky. We now have Mio coming back, but they got the back spirit vessel charges too. This is what they need. First back immediately broken. Iran trying to help him as best he can. Fight around the ward. Fight around the ward. Stack up the quills. We might see a great play from Mio, but he has to somehow manage to stay alive. Pugna giving him life. Give him some more. Snowball coming all the oh, way what back. what a snowball, actually. We have Mio staying alive a little bit longer. Pugna still there. Pugna <laughs> They're now the their one target. dropping. He preps himself. Sucks. Gets the kill. However, that's uh, not a real one. Well, it's still being up. Wow. That was a incredibly long fight. That was a thrashing. And to However, be honest, that, the game is. they took that fight exactly how they needed to do. They got Bristleback low and they did pump. He Like Sammy almost Reaper Scythe the Bristleback at the very beginning and realized he's like, wait a minute, he has the Aegis. And then yeah. Wraith King found an opening on the Rikamaru and they just blow him up immediately. Get that Reaper Scythe usage in on an important target and then slowly pick off the rest of the heroes. and. They're realizing, right, Rikamaru is this, he's the annoying hero for them to deal with right now. Yeah, they are. Well, actually, going on Mia with this break, they drop him very low, but... Yeah, this this change into the Silver Edge actually is paying off big time. Because not only does it break Bristleback, it reduces all healing you receive by 50%. Yeah, so that, that, that's it's huge. All healing and regeneration by 50%. Thing. So for four seconds, Bristleback is, is pretty killable. Shaggy with a DD rune and his Aghanim Scepter now freshly revealed going into the BKB as his next item. I like this a lot. I did not like the uh, Yule's idea. I thought it was pretty necessary at this point, but Aghanim Scepter gives him that two charges of Resonant Pulse yeah. and the Silence. Ooh, Lotus they're Orb, they're pulling him very far back. Neo in a terrible spot. Oh, no, he, he doesn't is... get to control his hero being comboed and taken wow. out. I don't think that was in. I don't know if that was intended, but Mio just played himself, and he is dead for 95 seconds thanks to yes. that Reaper Scythe, and he doesn't have buyback. Do you really don't know that? But boy, was that a, <laughs> that was quite the play. That's huge. Next up, however, we may have a kill top. No teleport out. Team yeah, Ricky's post. showing, however, Team Ricky's in a better position to fight than Carlo. Enchanted Quiver, not really the most desirable item. Which team got it? Yeah, Team Ricky. Oh, yeah, they put it on Shaggy. Yeah, I can't imagine that Enchanted Quiver is better than Telescope, but... Ooh, they've caught yeah. the Pugna. Oh no my gosh, side, Ron, not even well. going to get to play his character unless a huge ult from Go Colts. Locks down Team Ricky. Oh my gosh, he's resident. Beat. They do manage to take your on. Carter or Eradicate able to do very little and in great shape, Team Ricky continues their assault. Yeah, they were debating, and this is gonna be a double outpost since Lich rotated bottom, taking the other one. That XP bounty will go exclusively to Team Ricky. Is it weird that there's a Team Ricky? It's called Team Ricky, I know, it and yet does there's the Ricky off. on the other team. It really throws me off because, yeah, he's he's not playing on Team Ricky. And his like portrait is on our is like stamped in our base and. <laughs> oh, I actually hadn't looked at the the arcs. Those look good. Like the yeah. portraits around the radiant base. Those You're looking at mine or yours? I mean both. They both look really good. <laughs> yeah, they both do look great. Uh, BKB is the item for Ricky. He's still a ways away. He wants to hold on to buyback. 
Son Giasha for Bristleback. Now, the break mechanic and the earn mechanic are going to give him a hard time, but overall, that's a good pickup for him. Yeah. I think the BKB timing is going to be incredibly important here. Um, Sammy's opting for a Shiva's guard. I really like that, but the, the BKB's finish on the Wraith King Void Spirit getting closer and closer to his. Right now, there is no way for the Radiant. They don't have any way out of this AoE silence from this Void Spirit. Every single hero other than the Bristleback just has to eat the silence, and that's really, really difficult to do. Yeah. What, uh, what's the level 20 talent for Bristle? With, like, the Sanjin Yasha, right? It I makes sense for him to go for the health regen. I mean, the health regen is pretty value, to be honest. Like, 25 it health is. regen is a lot. But Quill stack damage is insane, because he also has vamp... He has the vamp fangs, which... Yeah. Just gives him that much more regen. So, I I'm not entirely sure which one is better. I usually go Quill stack damage, personally. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him go the regen this game, though. Yeah, really good. Sammy is so farmed. 16,000 net worth now on this Necrophos. Insane. That's what we Feeling expect from him. very confident. And this is all because of that first item of 4-staff. No joke. He There was like three, yeah. three or four times he would have died if he didn't just rush a 4-staff this game. Here we go. The skeleton army coming in. They saw go Colts on the side. Kukuls has his ult, he has a glimmer. You know he's there. Fast Our range is talent. not letting this get away. Glimmer, not there's the dust time, sir. Mr. Gaze, go Colts. <laughs> For nothing, take Sammy, it out. Sammy holding his restraint as he decides not to BM Reaper Scythe. No, the... he did, he did. No, he well, didn't he Reaper Scythe them. them, he tipped them. Yeah. But he did not Reaper Scythe them this time. Okay, Ash will step on the backside, go right in for Ricky, who pops his BKB and then turns his attention to Sammy. Sammy Double caught out, out and Lich, Smoke Cloud, going up to the high ground immediately. Team Ricky is forced out. Eradicate, however, in a terrible spot, caught out and dealt with. Duran is forced to buy back. We have Witch Doctor's ult interrupted. They're just getting and ran looks like over. Team Ricky once again up the high ground or pushing Team Carlo back to their fountain. Whose base is this really? Really? Now Mio is actually doing an okay job repelling. Oh, the shark lock? Is your on dead? Oh, your on makes it alive. Oh my gosh. Shaggy running low on mana. Now tier three finally falls. Teleport coming in from Mio. Immediately taunted, taking a lot of damage. We have an ult coming out from Keeper of the Light. Buying some time for Mio. He wants to immediately turn Heck around. He did go horses. for the quill stack damage. They're trying to get the whisk, but it is just not happening. He stopped Wait, the reincarnation. Wait, the just came off cooldown. It could go again. They have Silver Edge. get another kill. Now Team Ricky trying to go back in. Sammy's in pretty much fighting shape. He's turning on the Wraith King. This is a good King. choice. Lich is, Lich is already back in base. The Rikamaru is dead, but they've already used pretty much every spell. They just need to get out of Any here. Any interrupt? No, no Nothing interrupt left. for Sammy. We'll just TP out. That is a great push. They only get a tier three tower, but at the end of the day, it's a also lot of gold now, a 10,000 gold lead. In fact, for the Radiant, they do get about a 3,000 gold exchange. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. Shiva's picked up. Sammy doing a great job itemizing this game. Still, <laughs> still holding on to uh, the faded brooch though. What a strong tier one. Uh, got him. Mid lane, go Colts glimmered up, but there's an invis shaggy. Oh my gosh! Not go Colts again, about to be removed sir. from the game. The Buys a little bit of time, but caught by the remnant. <laughs> shaggy's gonna tip him. Yeah. Oh, no. they're finding more. Connor Morris ran into the whole team. Uh huh. But this is a great play by Tus oh, buying Rick a lot of time. Kill. I think Team Carlo is in a rough spot here. Uran being focused down, unable to path anywhere, blocked by everybody. Uh, Witch Doctor gets an ult, but Uran's gonna drop to Void Spirit. We're gonna have Gokul buying back, coming in for this one. Tusk finally falls for Team Ricky, but Uran, again, not being part of it, has put Team Carlo on the back foot. Sammy was trying really hard to get the Reaper Scythe onto the Rikamaru, but Blink Strike, super elusive hero, able to get back onto his high ground. Yeah. And to safety. 
if he gets that Reaper Scythe, the game almost guarant is almost 100% over. Um, yes. Rikamaru is, is pretty much most of the damage coming out from the Dire at this point. This early gem pickup, too, is just so good. The, the Radiant are playing really well this time. They are. Um, Sam, yeah, he's grabbing the gem. He's the one to hold on to it. No, gives it to yeah, Shelly. It's, it's been on Wraith King up until now, but he bought a Halberd just now, so... Gave it to Sammy. Sammy's going to give it on over to Shaggy, and they bottle up themselves a regen. Roshan is up if they decide to go for it. I think they have the damage with the Wraith King, as he does have the Orb of Destruction. That so should be easy, easy for them to bring down. Yeah, the Orb of Destruction is a huge item pick up. Just the Minus Armor alone. Yeah. Um, Team Carlo taking this time to just try and get control of the map back. Yeah, they need to just zone out, get regain some of this vision here in the triangle. Is I'd assume yeah, that the map. radiant they want to go for this tier two top here as soon as they take down this roach, or they're just gonna go mid. I'm not sure which one. Looks like they are opting to go to the mid lane. Yep, going right down. Yeah, no reason not to. Keep this wave Shaggy up. with an Aegis, Necrophos with a cheese. This is gonna be tough for Team Carlo. Yeah. And they're just going to go back through this triangle, take down any wards that could have been placed thanks to this gem. Mm -hmm. Mid lane, they're opting to uh, set themselves up for a push there. Shaggy going to cut bottom wave. This is all really, really good play. It's really hard to go high ground. I, I still think at the end of the day, that is the one thing that they really struggle with. It's really just this Wraith King. Yeah, well, we're gonna actually have them put some damage the onto the melee skeleton. racks here. One skeleton. Oh, Pugna like Ward is actually. out. Smoke Cloud is out. A lot of stalling tactics here. Coming out from Team Carlo. Yeah, Mio ready to start showing up here. And Mio with Aghanim's Scepter, actually. He's gonna put the Nasal Goo on everybody. Shaggy's just going in. in the middle of the fight. Doing a great job stacking up. We have Shaggy going in. Yuran looking like he's gonna drop a Glimmer Cape, buying him some time. Same with the Suck. Keeping him alive on the backside, we have Sammy dropped. Eradicate manages to sneak in, supported by Mio. He's unstopped. No, just kidding. He is stopped. The Lich ult the face, but immediate buyback. Tusk falls, then follows Lich, then Wraith King, who's about to be reincarnated. But a graveyard, he's going to be the next one to fall again. They're, they just go way too deep into the base to get your on, and uh -huh. he doesn't end up dying. And then as well, a result, the, you lose everyone else on the front line. The AI, I, Mio loved how deep they were. He was hitting like 400% accuracy with uh, Vicious Nasal Goo. Oh, this yeah. is Nasal Goo. Yeah, they just he was way hitting too far everybody, here. every cast. There was, I mean, he didn't even get the cheese off on the Necrophos, so he must have just gotten like Perma Bashed or something. Because yeah. both the supports were zoned out. It was just Rikamaru and Bristleback putting that damage in. Yeah, you they get one buy nice uh, stun. Buyback on Tusk. Uh, maybe they don't buy back Wraith King then. Okay, locked in. However, Tusk call. stunned. Potentially in trouble. Tusk leading this charge. Playing deep. Get, making room for his team to get in. Radicate doing a great job. Hassling. In the middle of the towers, Eradicate forced to pop his BKB, then he goes underneath the Radicate smoke cloud looking to get out. He has a blink strike, but he's unable to cast it. A misplay leading to Eradicate dying without buyback. Oh, the Yuran are gone. gonna, go Yuran the gonna die. Nope. Yes, he is. No buyback as well. We need to see some lane control coming out from Team Carlo if they want to survive here. Yeah, a little bit too aggressive coming out from Eradicate. Is he? I mean, he just doesn't have back, uh, buyback already on cooldown. Yuran's. Buyback on cooldown for another minute, but doesn't have the money either. They're gonna keep looking. They found Bristleback. No, Huge they found they Neo get. outside of oh, his base. Here's the snowball again, again baby. <laughs> the reverse snowball. He is not getting out. Go Colts has little. He has King's to get his ult. Try and save him. Wait, there it is. A blinding light of four staff. Keep them away. Go Colts may have put himself in trouble now. Don't try and turn this. Just stay alive, Team Carlo. On the run. The Remnant does not connect. The supports are the ones in danger. Bunborn actually makes it out. They all in. Wow. The save of the Willowwisps. Too good. Ooh, a Timeless Relic. 
Oh, that is insane. You definitely just give that to Shaggy. Yeah, that is so good. I was going to so say, that's good. probably Shaggy's, yeah. Spell amp on this hero is wild. And then on top of it, that debuff duration applies now to that silence. Yeah, and the Aether Remnant is great. Okay, well, moving up the high ground here. Trying to take advantage of this limited time. They have a uh, extra two people on the field. Sammy doing damage to the rain racks, but Neo We're doing just gonna an have excellent to back job. Again. Wow. They did not make it in time back up the map. Now, they did push in two big lanes, bottom lane, a massive wave as well. They're just going to have to all leave. Mm -hmm. Got it. Well, Team Carlo able to stabilize here. Ricky, we have a game on our hands. Yeah, I mean, Bristleback's almost level 25, and he gets a lot of damage at level 25. That Warpath damage per stack is no joke. Yeah. Prince is knife for both teams, turns out. Oh. <laughs> That's an interesting one, for sure. Aegis expired on Shaggy, gonna get that regen rune. Prince is knife gonna be delivered on over to the Necrophos. I guess it's Witch Doctor for Team Carlo, I'd have to assume. Oh, maybe they're gonna give Necro the Timeless Relic? Nah, yeah, I think it's better on Void Spirit. I like that. He'll take the, the Prince's Knife on Necro. He's just backpacked the mechanism. Ooh, He's the a... Havoc Hammer. Who got the Havoc Hammer? Lich. Ah, that feels pretty bad. Yeah. But something that's not bad, Pugna got himself a Spell Prism. Yes. He has a six second cooldown decrep for a 5.5 second duration. I don't know why he went the Aghanim Scepter. The Aghanim Scepter does not feel very good on this hero now. It's uh, just Pugna's an actually, damage. Pugna's going for the Prince's Knife. Huh. Who are they giving the Spell Prism to then? Oh, they put it on Bristle. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, yeah, why not? Man, Go for it. pretty sick. Look at the cooldown on his uh, nasal goo, too. Yeah, 1.2 seconds or something. Yeah. And he can stack that warpath up really quick with that. 20% faster, you could say. Oh, and they get a spell. All right, well, that one's That's going Pugna. on. Pugna. That's Pugna. Pugna's like, yo, give me that. That is my item. Now. <laughs> yeah. Did, they, did both teams just get identical neutral items, pretty much? Uh, the Havoc Hammer is the difference, right? Havoc Hammer and Magic Lamp. So two two of the four are the same. Wait a minute. Hey, Sammy gets a kill on Eradicate. That's big. That's two a five-man gank top. 120 seconds, no buyback. How close yeah, is he to buyback, Reaper's though? Scythe two and a half down. minutes still. That is a huge time for the Radiant, and they can just go right yeah. in off this tower. We were both Team just trying Ricky to figure out all the jungle items. And, uh, not paying attention to the fact that he just got themselves a massive kill. Uh, Mio, look at Mio pushing mid in already. Because he, he just needs to do something here to get them out of the base. Necro sold his mechanism. I actually like it. He okay, just we're going right in. Then. Straight yeah, on to the to. tier 3 tower, both mid and top. Mio makes an appearance. There's over a minute on Ricky. Fortification is used. That's also fortifying the creeps mid that are about to pressure the tier 4 towers. Oh, wait a minute. Sammy got a flicker. Oh, they're going in deep again. How many times have we seen this? Yeah, He's just be now careful. Yuran making it away with his BKB. Mio ready to turn around, start stacking the goop up on everybody. The tower goes down, Mio goes in. The will of us. Now a caudal alt. Are we going to be able to mobilize Team Ricky to stop it? No, it's getting left behind by the BKB players. They going got deep Yuran, though. Let's take him out an immediate buyback. Mio still in the middle, stacking up quills. Stacking up next quill spray. He's going to get one, maybe even two kills. New doing a they fantastic job. He needs to stay alive. Can he get out of here? No, he can't with no buyback either. Yuran, the only damage dealer left. Uh, and he's now caught out and just about taken down between his tower quickly, trying to stay alive with the sucky. He does not. I think that might be the game, Ricky. Shaggy dance around with so little health, too. He's going to live. Born. There it is. Buyback. Sammy is just going, going in. Deep. That cooldown reduction on his death pulse now to a 2.5 second cast time. And not cast Force time, him in, go Colts. Force staff him in, go Colts. Playing, playing the uh, Chad move right there, taunting yeah, the Yeah, we have Eradicate back, buying time. Eradicate someone else to kill everybody. They're just going straight for tier fours. 
Eradicate caught out top. BKB goes on Shaggy. Doesn't look like he's gonna catch him. Switches to Sammy. Oh my God, that crit! Switches to the trade. Blink strike. Great moves from Eradicate to keep himself alive, though, not to keep his team in the game. There is no mana on this Necrophos at all. <laughs> all the blinds coming out. Ancient now taking a lot of damage. These three players need to do something if they want to stay in this game. Eradicate unable to finish the Lich. Objective Rafe gaming, Rafe King. King. Get the, the barracks! Ancient, Ricky. Get Every it. spell being cast. The Death Lord coming out. The <laughs> chain cross, but that's it. Oh my gosh. It's two weeks in a row, Carlo. It is, Ricky. We have once again gone 1-1 in our best of two series all-star match. And once again, Ricky, it was a pleasure to be here with you and the players making it all happen. And what a series. I swear, th these were fun. I, I love these games. Like this one being obviously the all-star. Okay, well, I just had a friend invite there. But um, <laughs> last week was hilarious. You know, a really good time. Team it you was. Know, Ricky did a really good game one. Got absolutely slaughtered game two. And this <laughs> week, Team Carlo. Flip-flop. Yeah, completely opposite. You guys stomped yep. game one. This game two was uh, pretty close. Um, it was a good game too. Yeah, Both definitely all good four game. games yeah. were actually. Were I great. enjoyed them all. They were really fun. I agree. So, uh, it's. I'm happy that the community came together to put this uh, to make this happen, especially in the difficult time we're in. Yeah. Um, with the playoffs um, on hold for however long. Yeah. Um, and I'm happy we had such a perfect outcome. 2-2 two, two for both of us across two series. <laughs> it's been fun. Yeah, it was a great time. And shout out to both teams, all 10 players from CSL. We appreciate you guys. Hope you had fun. At the end of the day, really, that's that's what it's all about, trying to give you guys something to do um, in the time being. And I know I had fun. Carlo, how about you? I had a great time, Ricky. I always have a good time uh, casting Dota, especially when it's an all-star match with uh, faces like Sammy and especially Go Colts. And double especially uh when i'm here with you yeah always all right well uh, that should be uh all she wrote for tonight so thank you everyone for tuning in and watching we really much uh, appreciate it and shout out yes, to carlo do. the greatest caster in north america and shout out to ricky the greatest <laughs> caster in north america <laughs> all right have a good night everyone see you guys another time another time true true <laughs>